Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. What the hey yo was that? <laughs> that there is a life jacket, life vest, flotation device, whatever you want to call it. It's used for fish that have swim bladder disease. Our fish has had it now for three or four uh, weeks. We've been trying different diets like green peas, different water parameters and temperatures, and nothing seems to be working. So at least for the time being, uh, I put together this flotation device for him so we can get him from not being on the bottom of the tank flipped upside down all the time and now he's able to be upright swimming around i know he's floating at the top so i'm going to try to fix that by fastening something to the bottom to weight down even more so we can get that buoyancy out right uh, and he'll be able to swim around more in the middle and the bottom part as well uh, so yeah still got to figure that part out but anyways i went online uh, after I couldn't get it to work. I think I'm out of focus here Yeah, uh, so I went online to see what I could could do uh, our, our goldfish's name's Nugget uh, We like them. We, we want them to stick around so uh, Went online. I found this guy his fish his name is Einstein and he made this device for his fish So uh, we thought we'd give it a try too. Um the only thing is, the parts that I needed, uh, I needed to order online because I'll just show you what you need to put this together. What you're going to need is a three-way tube adapter. Uh, and the thing about it is, if it's a 90 degree, like if it's in the shape of a T, it's not going to work. It needs to be more in the shape of a Y, and it can be even more uh, Y-like than this one, but this is the only one I could find online that I could order to Canada because that's where I live. Um, Four-way uh, air tube adapter. You're going to need two of those, two, two Ys or three ways. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, tubing. You're going to need pipe cleaners. And there's two types that I picked up. Just picked it up at the dollar store. Um, smaller tubing and the bigger pipe cleaners. And what I did was I ended up going with the bigger pipe cleaner because it has a heavier, thicker wire. Uh, and I just took scissors and cut that away. So tools that you're going to need for this too is pretty basic. Just scissors and a, a set of pliers. I think that's all I used. Uh, you're going to need a bowl to put some water in, to put the fish in, uh, and a towel to lay them on. Uh, the best thing to do is to build the majority of the device, lay your fish inside, measure what the tubing on the bottom is going to need to be, put them back in the water, and cut it to size. You put the pipe cleaner inside the tubing on the bottom. And what this does is it, it, it kind of holds it on the fish, and also it the wires heavy so it, it pulls the fish down uh, so it's not as buoyant but like I said it's not heavy enough with this design I'm gonna need to probably I'll use this smaller uh, for now I'm gonna use this smaller uh, pipe cleaner and I'm gonna get some heavy washers or some sort of heavy wire and fasten that to the bottom so I can get that buoyancy uh, better so he's not always stuck right up at the top of the tank um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you're going to need. And now another thing that I found uh, while I was looking up what I could do for Nugget is there's actually fish veterinarians and they they take needles and uh, they actually puncture into the swim bladder and they extract air out of it and that corrects it as well. But where I live, we don't have any fish veterinarians. I'm lucky that we have 
pets and dogs and rabbits and that sort of thing in our area. Uh, definitely no fish veterinarians. Not to my knowledge anyways. If there's any Newfoundlanders that uh, want to throw someone my way that actually does do this sort of thing, I'd be open to it for sure. But anyways, I'll post, I'm going to post a video of this veterinarian. Anyone who might have access to that, I'll post a, a link to a video that shows that operation. I'll post a link to a video of the guy who made this before me. He's the one that gave me the idea for it. First fish Einstein. I can't remember his name right now, but you'll see when you click on the video. I'll post a list of everything that you're going to need and links to where you can buy it from. And I'll put a list of the small amount of tools that you're going to need to do this in the description below. So yeah, guys, uh, anyone that has more suggestions of a different diet that I could feed Nugget or a different device that can be bought or used to help them out, different things I can do with the water parameters, just you know, post below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Never gonna know what it feels like to be normal. I'm alone in this cold light, and I've been going up on the stars in the night time. I came back to the earth trying to get mine, but I'm still trying to get to where I gotta be.